Wow, what a fantastic day of, match, of matches that we've had at Blast. And today we've got something very special, a winner's interview with no other, none other than Config, another deep dive into that match versus Astralis. Then we have Connor to talk about uh, everybody's skins, a nice skin inventory deep dive, and we'll find out who's up to bat. And then finally, a s uh, segment that we haven't featured yet that you'll have to stay tuned to find out more about here on Blast Overtime. Well, yes, thank you so much for waiting around, guys. We have uh, a very special evening here. Uh, one of the biggest upsets that I've ever been in the same building of a win over Astralis. Thank you so much for being here, Config, and thank you so much for being here as well, Connor. You're Config, welcome. Config, how the hell did you do it, man? <laughs> we finally played as a team. We've been playing really bad online and from home, so we just came here and we did our best and it finally worked out. This team packed that beat you online in the minor online qualification. I mean, that was enough evidence for everyone to say, well, there's no chance, right? I mean, do you think it was fair for people to be roasting you as much as they did about the match that, they, that you had versus Astralis before it happened? Do you think uh, that was fair? I think it's fair, honestly. Like, we've been playing so bad and we lost against a team we should never lose against. So it was kind of like, I just, feel, I just felt sad going into the tournament because I was like, we were just expecting to win one map and we we kicked their ass. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, I mean, you won that ass. map. Yeah, Loud and yeah proud. you absolutely did kick their ass. You did it in two maps. And you were our man of the match. You were the guy that we wanted to talk to. And we have some fantastic stuff to show on both Dust2 and Vertigo. Were you feeling it today? Like, did you personally just feel more comfortable than uh, you expected? Did you know how, how well you were about to play? I had no clue. Like, I, <laughs> I actually, I went into the match, like, I've put a lot of pressure on myself. So, but. Uh, on, the, on the previous matches and the previous tournaments I've played and also online and I just came into the match and I just said to the boys I just want to be happy mm -hmm. and then I just kind of played and did my own thing. Yeah, you guys have, a, it seems like you've got like a great mental attitude going on. You know, we are listening into comms as the games are playing. <laughs> if you watch back the VOD, you can hear Blame F losing his voice every single round. Is the attitude and mood really good? Is it the lane it's, environment? The lane environment is definitely working good for us yeah. and everything is just perfect right now. Like the team chemistry and all that stuff, it just feels nice to play. Finally, again, I've missed it. Is it, is it a bit frustrating when you play against a team like Astralis and you guys put in tons of preparation, like Blame said, on the desk, but then you, you can go up and play against a random team who have great individual skill, and the, but then just lose because it's all mine and you couldn't prepare as, enough for them? Um, I feel like it's different when we play lane and when we play online. Like We kind of went into the matches online like we were, we were just expecting to win everything, but here we finally went in and expected to not do as much damage as we thought we would do. Like There was no pressure on us and we played way better than expected. Mm. So if, I feel like if we just go into a match and we just play like we have nothing to lose and we have nothing to win, then it's going to be better for us as a team. Well, cheers, Config. Congrats cheers on the win, that. man. Thanks, we'll celebrate with this us is, the This whole, is needed. Right? Take a quick sip. Ah, in. Nice and cold. New team, new jerseys, new Config, and new ink. Yes. Let's take some time to show that off. What are we working with here? Ooh. Is well, that an all-time favorite Greek philosopher? This is Zeus. This is not Peltron or what he's called, the, oh, okay. the Greek philosopher. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I need some new ink. I need some pain in my life and I regained some strength. That's what I needed. Yeah, I saw you tweeting out that you, uh, you didn't know what you were getting into. Is there anything that you should know about uh, what, what it means to get a tattoo? What's it, what was the experience like? It's definitely the worst experience of my entire life. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> well, did it hurt more than it you hurt. thought it would? I was like, I, I almost passed out at one time, and then he just kind of popped the uh, Oreo cookie in my mouth. Yes. And I was back on a track. little sugar. Yeah, right? a little it actually sugar. helps with the pain. Actually, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a big thing. You drink like a can of Coke, or you, you, you have some. You have so a this man's Coke. covered in them, you know, and I've been yeah. thinking about it. I don't have one yet either. It's not worth and then, it, but hearing your story, <laughs> though, yeah, I'll it's worth it. It's worth it. It is a good one. If you like a little bit of pain in life, then you should definitely do it. Well, listen, now the rest of you looks boring, so you got to I'm going to get both arms and one leg. Oh, wow. So you're there for the pain, man. That's awesome. <laughs> and for the long ride. Yeah, they, you, go, you endure and it pays off just like it has for you today. So the rest of your group, how are you feeling? It's not like you beat Astralis and it's over. You have to win one yeah. more match, but you still you have to do it versus Vitality. And uh, uh, no one in this group is easy to beat. No, of course not. No one in the group is easy to beat. Now people are scared of you too, but every single team in this group, it's unclear who's actually going to make it. I don't feel like people should be scared of us yet. Like we've done one good thing now. We played against Astralis. We, we played really well. If we do the same tomorrow, then I think people should be scared. Mm. Vitality, that's what you guys have up next tomorrow, right? Between them and Navi, is that is that more comfortable for you? I mean, no match is going to be comfortable this weekend, right? You know yeah, that you guys are punching upwards. Yeah. But, but does Vitality sit well with you? 
I think Vitality is a good team to play against for us, like individual skill. We, the only person we are scared on, on that team is Sai Wu, he's the best player in the world. Mm -hmm. That's kind of scary in my opinion. But if we just go in and do the exact same thing as we did today, had the perfect entry strat, followed the game plan, and we had some individual skill, then we're going to win. Now let's talk about something else. You've got your team is now comprised of a few a few players that have a little bit more that are a bit more tenured. You've played on North, Rush has played on Cloud9, you know, you've all achieved different things in different organizations. And in some sense, you guys have only played 30 odd games together with this lineup, but you have Oboe who's very inexperienced, and then you have Poison as well. Can we talk about Poison for a second? He had such an amazing uh, series. When you watch the VODs, you're gonna find out, we can take a look at this clip and just see like how fantastic it was. What, what can you tell us about Poison that people don't know? I think Poison is the kind of player that when he's happy, he plays the best CS that he's ever played. Mm. And I feel like today he was happy when he walked into the games. He has had a bit of a rough time because he's trying to play within the system, but when he lets loose, you see Poison doing his thing. Yeah. And then you kind of know like this guy can out up no matter who picks him. If it's Device or if it's Savu, he, he, don't, he don't care. Like He has so much confidence that it's almost scary for us as a team sometimes because Poison is just like boom, 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 and then he's just somewhere. Yeah. And then you kind of have to follow him. But I think I think it's crazy. Like it's He's the, probably the best over I played with. Oh, listen, you're, you're a guy whose balls hang on the floor all the time. <laughs> I remember one time that you uh, you knifed that was, you knifed Schneider yeah, in, in the major. OT yeah. at a major yeah. in a round that if you lost, you would have got eliminated. So we you know, you want to talk team. about balls, you've got them as well. <laughs> how do you how do you reel in a player like that? That's just so like just teaming with confidence and it hasn't seen what it what it's like to kind of dip down or just like have a, a tough time on a team yet. Well, like we have to unleash the beast when we need to and we have to stay focused when we need to. Like we have, we need to find a good mix in between the the individual skill and the team play. And I think like Benjamin, he's probably the best IGL I've ever played with. So really? I even said to the really? team yeah. I said okay. to the team that like, if we follow Benjamin's game plan and we do our individual skill on the side and we kind of work from that, then we're going to be the best team in the world. Like, I, I can definitely feel that this team has something special. I even wrote it on Twitter a few days ago. Yeah. I was like, this team, is, we got what it takes. We just need that 10 to 15% extra. And mm -hmm. we showed that we have it. And maybe 10 to 15 more matches. Who knows where you go from here, yeah, right? Of course. But yeah, just quickly before you move on to our next segment, what do you have to say about Blame F? He, you're calling him the best IGL you've ever played with. He's not a world renowned IGL. No, where does that come not. from? Well, where does that phrase come from? If you, if if you're inside in our games, if you're inside in our practice, you'll see it. You'll 100% see it. I told him like one of the first days that we that we played together, like this this guy knows his shit. Like he's so hardworking. He's such a good individual player. He's such a good like at uh, at like controlling people all the time and telling people what to do. Like he can focus on everything at the same time. It's actually he, he's insane. Yeah, just a polymath. Huh? And he's this is a, this that, is a right? round where you I think you uh, blame math comes through with the clutch oh, kills and the you three kills in the post yeah. This one was big. It was just him and Oboe left over. Yeah. I think he goes for the two guys over at the top of ramp and then doubles back for the short player too. And I think this one, I, mean, I was listening in, in the green room. Again, we can listen to your guys' communication. And, and he had this on lockdown. Don't worry, it's all, t it's, you know, we, we, we cut out that stuff. <laughs> you guys aren't worse than us, okay? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, and then I think, you know, we have, that, we have another round where you end up like, it, it's like near the end of the game and you're flying around a corner on, vert, on Vertigo and then you, I think you know. One HP. Yeah, one the HP. The one HP yeah. jumping yeah. up off of top B set. Yeah, I need to kill him. When oh you know you're God. going to win, do you get any more nervous? No. I, I, do, I don't, like, I want to win. It doesn't really matter how, but Here like, this, this one. This is how it has. High this flying is how acrobatics it looks. Yeah, yeah, try to hide. <laughs> well, I think like we had a lot of, everyone on the team had really like good rounds. And I actually, this team is, it's crazy that we can win so many rounds where we, before in North, if we play like this or in Dignitas, it would be like, if we lost like two players, we would never win that 5v3. Like, it just, it feels insane playing on this team. It's so much individual skill and there's so much team play right now yeah. that it's it's just, I can't even explain it, honestly. Man, there's so much insight there. And I'm glad that this week we actually will keep you on for the, the whole show before we were switching out uh, for guests. But but first, we're going to take a look at the Skim Inventory Deep Dive with Connor, a shot style segment here yeah. where we take a look at a couple of inventories, a couple of inventories from your team. That's very true. Very true indeed. I think we've actually got a quick little, uh, quick little shocker video into the beginning of this one, Mohan. Oh, yeah. So let's go and head. And that was shot sick. style. I made it. We said last week that I wasn't on the title page of that one, you know. Uh -huh. So it was kind of, uh, it was kind of tough. But uh, clearly, I did a good enough job to get in there. Um, so you're going to be back with us in a second, right? 
We're gonna we're gonna let you, you gonna just let me go. Can slide I, can I take quick. my beer? Yeah, yeah. We'll see you in a second. Yeah, so you bring your beer, but you have uh, to. Oh my God! Uh, wire to the ground over yeah, there. Yeah, dude. Okay, you can take the beer, but you have to finish it. So let's okay. do the CS money segment. Okay. All right. <laughs> First and foremost, we should be looking at the inventory of Poison. Okay. Now, Poison, dude. Okay. Not only is he one of the craziest operas so far, I'd say, in this weekend, but we're also talking scout plays. His scout plays were out of this world. It's not included in his inventory, but you know what we're going to talk about here, dude? It's the green element, okay? He's got those Hydra Emerald gloves. Mm. We touched on the Bloodhound gloves. It's the ones with the metal, you know, metal pieces on the back of the hands. Yeah. The, the studs are the detail, and he chooses emerald. Green's my favorite color. Green's your favorite color. You knew that. And it's in the name, right? It Poison is, man. Is exactly. Green. Exactly. He has this neo noir op, but I'm pretty sure he also has an even sicker one that matches. What, what's important is the gamma Doppler. All right. We, we see ruby Dopplers. We see sapphire Dopplers, but gamma Dopplers. That uh -huh. lime green. You know it pops. Goes right with the alligator on the sea later. And that's basically what he said to Astralis all night long. Yeah. Can, he was unstoppable. Can you put this together on a budget? Or are we talking about expensive skins here? Like, how accessible is this to the average Poison fan? The average Poison fan is probably from Bulgaria. So, I don't know. The average Poison fan in North America, also a tough one. These are freaking expensive skins in terms of the <laughs> yeah, top right. wearing gloves, all right? Yeah, good point. I, I couldn't afford these. Um, that's why we built mine on the budget, Mo. But, um, yeah, so all things considered, poison, nice inventory. I think, however, it is not as good as our next member of complexity. Yeah. And that's going to be Oboe. Let's take a look at Oboe. Oboe, yeah. he's got a lot of red going on, a lot of fire going on, a lot yeah. of heat. He does, right? So he's got that classic knife slaughter. I don't even know if he was born when the classic knife was out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but he's throwing yeah, homage back skins. to where Counter-Strike came from. And then, of course, we're talking the Doppler, the classic butterfly, the ADD knife, we call it, right? He's spinning. He's fragging. And he's looking good while he does it. Howl M4, wildfire op. And that blaze, the shlattered. I like this. Kids got style when it comes to the name tags. In fact, we're gonna throw out something fresh, and that fresh piece is, of course, an in-game inspection of his AK-47. Okay. I believe we've got it. We should have the piece, and I wanna see it now. Joey, play the clip. Ooh, so he calls this, okay? The AK-47 Robo Mode. Robo Mode. Robo Mode, baby. A little too young for Robo Cop, Obviously, too. He, the gold Berlin stickers, the very first major that, 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 that he played in, the only major that he's played in, mm -hmm. and um, it looks great. So this one's nice. This is a nice touch, I think. You know, we're gonna try and throw some more of the uh, more of the in-game inspections um, when it when when we come back to the CS Money sh skin segment. But um, that's uh, that's it. That's all we've got for the CS Money. Cool. So we move along. All right. We move well, along into the more important segment, Mo. The more important segment. I think yeah. that was of, of the utmost importance. But uh, either way, we've got three segments that are all great. This next yep. one is a brand new segment, one that we really didn't work too hard on. But uh, we've got another player involved and a telescopic teacher pointer. Here we go. Config is going to be. <laughs> wow, you look a little bit ridiculous, don't you? Here we go. We got uh, a, a telescopic pointer config. Let's explain this. Um, Explain this for a second. This call, this this segment is called Fraggingstein. Okay, you're going to use this pointer, and you're going to point to a player in each of these different sections that you feel would put together the best teammate, the perfect player. Okay, and we're going to go with the the week two players. They're all color coded here. So you've got yep. your team for comms because you don't know anyone else's comms. Aims we've got aim we've got Astralis. You can take your pick of the litter. Positioning. Yeah, that's what POS is short for here in this situation. We've got <laughs> all of Navi and the clutch factor, that clutch right. gene, the guy who you, you want to put in a 1v1. That's what we're going with for vitality. So we'll start with your team, Config. If you're going to point to a player on your team that has the best comms, who is it? It's Blame F. Ooh, Blame it's F. It's Blame right. F. Okay, we need to unpack that. You, you had a piece to speak about him. What is it about Blame F that makes his comp so damn good? He can control anyone. Like, he, he tells everyone what to do in every single tactic we have. Like, if you have a question for him, boom, he just remembers it. Like, you can do this, 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 and he tells everyone it's actually insane. If I was in his position, I had to tell people what to do, I would probably have a meltdown. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, high praise for, for Blame F. We thought that, uh, you know, you, you've got high, you've got high self-esteem. You might pick yourself. Yeah. Blame F is, is taking the cake here. I got a question with this one though. When it comes to comms, right? We kind of praise Obo as somebody who's who's obviously less experienced than everyone else on this team. But uh, I want to know more about his comms. Is it clear? Is it panicked? Like, there's got to be a weakness here, right? Yeah. Well, Obo's comms is actually pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Nice. I had a feeling, <laughs> man. It, it's and Poison's is pretty bad too. Mine is like decent, and Rush's is good. So I I pick Blame because you know. 
He's the best. Yeah, he's got it going on. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right, well, we've got one-fourth of the player. That's Blame F on the communication. He's going to be the mouthpiece for this single player. Now, if we look at AIM, we've got all of the Strawless here. All these guys hit shots. Don't tell me any different. Zip picks. I know sometimes his stats don't show up, but the clutches make you wonder. If you're going to give it somebody here the prize for best aim or the player you want to have the aim compartment in your player, in your perfect player, who's it going to be? If I was over there, I would pick myself. But uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess like Megis is the best uh, aimer they have right now. Okay. He's insane with the creek and with the orc. So that's, that's the guy I'll pick. Is aim, that's an interesting thing. Is aim uh, weapon specific for you? Is aim just something that you're good at as a player in general, no matter what you pick up? I think like when you peak Megis, you know, like he, he will probably kill you. Like the, the chance is pretty big for him to like hit, hit his shot so Dupree he was there before but right now I'll pick Magus. You're gonna pick Magus okay yeah that's interesting and you get a different perspective just a little bit more on that you get a different perspective. I get on, the feel you know. You get the feel yeah. you get to see him peek you at 100 <laughs> yeah. miles an hour right? Okay cool all right so that's Magus for aim now we're gonna move on to positioning who's in some sense who's the smartest player here who's the guy who's always standing in the right spot who's got that angle a little bit deeper than you expected the one who stabs you in the back the one who's shooting you from behind. I'm actually like I'm I'm a bit torn apart here because okay. I would I would want to pick electronic but also want to pick symbol. Okay. Symbol is so good but he's also baiting a little bit. Okay. So I'm going with electronic because I don't feel like Blame is also he can also bait a little bit so I'm picking <laughs> a little bit of a baiter too. Yeah, he could he could bait a little bit. Okay, all but right. He, well, at least he admits electronic. it, right? He admit, admits I was it. expecting simple. I was expecting someone to say simple yeah. electronic. He's not getting a lot of flowers. He's on a team with a very good player. Have you seen player. him like an ice challenge? He was yeah, his first off. MVP, yeah. man. Yeah. First MVP. MVP. I was, I was actually expecting you to maybe. I think the argument can be made in terms of positioning. Pick a guy like Flamey. You know, I think like Flamey B site barrels on an overpass. I'm thinking Flamey on ramp, like you know those big 3K mow downs because of positioning kills. What do you think of Flamey in terms of positioning? Flamey could also be a better pick, but I, I'm like I'm looking at electronic and symbol. Those are insane players. Flamey has been dropped a little bit from it. Like he he was pretty good for a few years back, but these two players yeah. they are still pretty fucking. Are sick. those goggles getting hot, bro? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah a little bit <laughs> steamy. You can put them up. Right? You can put them up top if you like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll put oh, that's them like also this. a good look. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that one looks. Okay, nice. so okay. we've got three fourths of our guy right here. We've got the comms of Blame F, the aim of yeah. Magis, the arms the of Blame, the arms of Blame, yeah. and, <laughs> and the positioning uh, of Electronic, right? We've got all of the, the neurons firing off. And now, to top it all off, we need the clutch gene, the guy who you know you want in a 1v1 at all times, the guy who's going to win the round for you, the guy who you've never seen lose a 1v2, who's your guy? Zywoo Zai is done. If, if, you, like, if you didn't pick Zywoo, you're actually stupid. You're like, stupid. You're, you yeah. can even be a pro if you pick <laughs> Zywoo. is the best clutcher in the game. Like you've seen him win 1v5 with, with a clock against USPs, you've seen him win uh, 1v3s, 1v4s. Like he, if Sipnis was over there, then I could probably have picked between those two, uh -huh. but there isn't any on the, on the team that I would pick from, rather from Cyber. Is there anything, who's, uh, who's, who's, got, who's got the silver medal on this team? If you, uh, it's it pretty rough, far honestly. behind, but who's got like, the I, I think Shux is also a pretty good clutcher. He's a pretty smart That's player in the, in the situations. Yeah. So it, it, was, it was between Saiwoo and Shux, but I definitely think like Saiwoo right now is, is the better player. That so is. I'll, if, you, if you make a player out of this brain, yeah. then you have a fucking complete, complete player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you have five players on a team that all had this? If they all had this, then you'd win every major? Probably not, because then they're going to be a huge ego as well. Right? <laughs> 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 Better than four configs or no? No, no. Four <laughs> configs would have been insane. I <laughs> you. It would have been okay. the master team. That's awesome, man. Well, yo, thank you so much. I mean, you look amazing. I said a bit ridiculous, Thanks, but I could get used to this. I think yeah. that's awesome. Would you ever play a match in this? Uh, in this? In Probably this not with the gloves on, but yeah. I'll take the apron and the glasses. Like, yeah. if, if there was a little bit more vintage, then it would have been a little bit better. They get a little bit foggy sometimes. Well, yeah, maybe we'll poke some holes in there, <laughs> get something going, make an esports goggle. Okay. All right, cool, man. Well, thank you so much uh, for the interview. I'd like to shake your hands. Shake the gloves. The rubbery hand. Yes. Cheers, that's, I'm that's glad you cook some crystal myth over here. <laughs> 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 okay, Heisenberg. Let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, dope. Okay, thank See you so boys. much, guys. Um, that wraps up uh, the show. We gave it, a, we gave it a, a new spin on it. We kept the player on the whole time. Three, uh, three total segments. Let us know what you guys thought about that. That has been Blast Overtime. Connor, any closing thoughts? Man, that went way better than I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really didn't spend that much time on this, uh, on this uh, presentation. Uh, but you will see more of it next week. Okay, thank you so much for sticking around and take care, everyone. Good night.